this week is uh, going to be very cool because I'm going to explain uh, Hans Zimmer sound because Hans Zimmer, the favorite movie composer of everyone, um, uses Zebra quite a lot and he actually has a preset pack out um, like a while ago. It's called uh, the Dark Dark Zebra presets or something like that. Uh, you can find it. Just uh, um, search for um, Hans Zimmer Zebra and I uh, remade one of his sounds and I totally stole his whole melody so um, you can't use this in your m music I, in, in my opinion unless you use a different melody but the technique is kind of kind of very awesome um, this is what it sounds like So you should be able to recognize that from the Batman movie. Um, well, he uses the arpeggiator quite a lot, and this is this uh, his melody over there. So this is not my own melody. And um, a big thing in this sound is the attack of the envelopes because if I start to drag the attack down. I mean, it's still cool, but it doesn't have that same spooky effect. So, for uh, the first oscillator, we have a triangle saw pulse. So, basically, it's set to a triangle. Um, then, nothing going on in the phasing panel. I used a filter. I don't know if. I don't know what I, I changed this preset, so I don't know what was his things and um, and what my things were. But um, there's a filter in uh, oscillator effect one, and it's uh, controlled by envelope one with an amount of eight. And then we have another filter, and um, this is controlled by uh, MIDI CC. And when you right click here, you have some of these like breath and pitch wheel and express and those are all um, assignable to MIDI controller so um, when you don't do that this is not going to do anything um, but that is just one of those things to make the sound uh, more expressive and then we have oscillator 2 right beneath there um, we have the same filters yeah, I think this is pretty much the same oscillator, except the tuning is um, one octave lower. And we have the mod mapper to the volume. That means that we can control um, we can can control it with the with the mod wheel, because you can see here. This is kind of uh, I'm gonna explain this uh, module soon, but basically this lets you map um, a controller of your MIDI keyboard like a mod wheel or a pitch wheel to any knob in Zebra and then you can here you can choose the curve that you want it to make when you um, I can see if my mod wheel is working yeah then when I'm not turning my mod wheel or my keyboard and you can draw in different things here and then it makes that it makes that shape when you so it doesn't normally when you would turn a knob up it would go something <laughs> this is ugly it would go something like this but now you can also for example say when I move my mod wheel up this will go down and um, etc so you can you can make more um, flexible curves here I think Hans will be very mad at me for messing this one up um, so this is the uh, mod mapper and then we have oscillator 3 and that is looking quite similar yeah these are all uh, these are all what you call it damn it triangles yeah um, and this one is down uh, 3 octaves so it's just to make the sound a little bit fatter and so you get that kind of sound and then we have oscillator 4 oh that's one mean low oscillator 
is going to this filter. No, it's not. Yeah, it is going to this filter. But it's just very low. Let's set it to minus 12. And don't be afraid to change these presets if you, if you get that package. It's all about learning. For example, map the release that would be pretty cool. But yeah, there's the sound. It's um, pretty basic actually. Um, we do have these MIDI assignments here, but that's all. And it doesn't make sense for now, but that's controlling these um, these filters. So it's just filters and um, filters, triangles and envelopes and an arpeggiator and a reverb. <laughs> okay, but then you have the whole sound. And the reverb is quite a quite a big deal here. Man, I love this sound. Okay, um, have fun with that. I'll see you next week.